Welcome to Dental Digest Plus. Today's topic is dental wax. Please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get regular updates for the new videos. Waxes are used wildly in dentistry. Many variety of natural waxes and resins have been used in dentistry for specific and well-defined applications. Many dental procedures involve wax-containing materials, at some stage of the procedure. For example, at the time of making ceramic tooth crown, we take bite registration using bite registration wax. During preparation of denture, the setting up of artificial teeth, is done with the modeling wax. And in dental casting procedures, inlay wax and casting wax are used. Also, edentulous impressions may be recorded in a wax containing material called impression compound. Moving on to the definition Waxes are thermoplastic materials, which are normally solids at room temperature, but melt without decomposition, to form mobile liquids. So, waxes are the material that is solid at room temperature, and liquid when its temperature rises, without losing its composition. Now, first we will see the uses of dental wax. Dental wax is used for making the wax patterns for restorations. Dental wax is used to simulate gingiva during denture preparation and dental wax is also used for holding the teeth in record base during denture processing. Dental wax is used for making impressions of posterior palatal seal region. Dental wax is used for bite registration during various procedures. Many miscellaneous lab uses dental wax for various intermediate procedures. Now, Let's talk about the ideal properties of dental waxes. 1. Dental wax should be tough and rigid at room temperature, and it should not be brittle, so that we can manipulate wax easily. 2. Dental wax should have a low softening temperature, so it can be less time consuming, and it can be melted using warm hand instruments. 3. Dental wax should flow easily so that it can reach the undercut areas easily. 4. Dental wax should be dimensionally stable, so that restoration made out of the wax pattern fits perfectly over the prepared tooth. 5. Dental wax should have melting point well below that of boiling water, and that wax can be removed under boiling water, which is necessary in denture preparation during de-waxing procedure. Six, Dental wax should have a pleasant color, and it should possess a color contrast, to help during carving. Now let's talk about the classification of dental wax. Please note that, classification of dental wax is very important in exam point of view. Dental wax is classified in several ways. Let's see the classification according to the origin of wax. In this classification dental wax is classified in four parts. First, mineral origin. Second, animal origin. Third, plant origin. And, fourth is synthetic wax. Here in this slide you can see the names of the wax that are of mineral origin. In this second slide, you can see the animal origin wax. In third slide, you can see the names of the wax that are of plant origin. And, in this fourth slide, you can see the names of the synthetic wax. Now, let's see other classification which is classification of dental wax according to the use. This classification is widely used classification. According to the use dental wax is classified into First, pattern wax Second, 
processing wax. And, third is impression wax. Here in the first slide, you can see the pattern wax. In second slide, you can see the processing wax. And, in third slide these are the impression wax. Now let's talk about the composition of dental wax. The dental waxes may be composed of, natural waxes and synthetic waxes, gums, fats, fatty acids, oils are also added into it. Natural waxes are derived from mineral, vegetable, and animal origins. Synthetic waxes are chemically synthesized from natural wax molecules, and they are typically composed of hydrogen, carbon, oxygen, and chlorine. Coloring agents are added into the wax, for contrast of wax patterns against tooth, and model surfaces. Some formulations contains a compatible filler, to control expansion and shrinkage of the wax product. Most dental waxes contain 40 to 60 percent of paraffin by weight, which is derived from high boiling fractions.